Så vi er... <coughs> Hi. Um, some of you might remember a few years ago I came into the ownership. Is that the word? I don't know. Of a bunch I said <laughs> a bunch of slides. Thousands of um thousands of slides. It's a lot of work. Uh, I'm restoring them all and they're all fucked. Well they're not all fucked, but they're they're all pretty bad. Um they've not been stored well as I've touched on before, and I am going through them, restoring them, giving them a clean, scanning them, and some of them printing. Um, I hope to make a photo book out of it one day. I stopped scanning for a little while, um, most, about a year and a, a year and a half, actually. I just had no motivation to go through anything. This, the scanning process was slow. I, I, I got, I got, um, I got a, a copy stand so I could mount a DSLR to it and use a macro lens and, do it all home and try and get that really fluid, but it's too many variations for, if from my experience anyway, too many variations with slides, like the, the holders are at slightly different levels and and so the focus changes and it's just really fucking difficult and it's so annoying. But the photos are really good. <laughs> been working in a little photo lab in Glasgow for a little little while um, just like doing the occasional shift when time allows it I've started taking batches of slides in so I've been using using their scanners and like downtime um, the one I've been using for slides is I was gonna start with the Naritsu I, I do like the Naritsu I like the the granularity of the of its controls um, but getting the holder in that and then having to put the put putting slides into that just it seems like a more of, more faff that I don't need. So I started using the the Fuji Frontier SP three thousand. The loader in that is really good because it's just like you, I can literally slide slide a, I can slide a slide in and it scans it in seconds. It's like what, five ten seconds. Whereas like I I, I used to use a, a Plus Tech. Um, when I was doing it at home before I wanted to go down the DSLR route. And that was taking minutes each, each one, but then like I'd be distracted because I'm at home, so I'd, I'd go off and do something, and then an hour later I'd come back in and be like, oh fuck, I was doing this, and then put the next slide on. So it'd take me like over an hour, two hours to, to do it, to a, a tray of four. Um, but the past couple of, the past couple of days in the lab, I've gotten through 150. So it's picking up again. I'm feeling motivated. Um, I found some pretty good photos. I'm going to share some. I might have already shared some by now, and I might have run out of slides by now. I'm waffling. Um, I'll see how I can piece this together. about the slides being dirty so with using the sp3000 i'm just putting them in give them a, give them a little token and wipe before they go in the scanner but um nothing extensive like i was doing before when i was making prints with them and i was cleaning the negative properly as properly as i could my process is now um, i take slides into the lab i use the scanner at the lab blast through them all i give them a little wipe first but nothing too intense um i just i literally just want to digitize them and see them properly, check they're in focus, do like do some manual cleanup afterwards. That was the other thing, yeah, the manual cleanup. So um, these scanners have like, uh, it's, I think it's called digital ice, um, and they use, I think it's infrared, to detect um, bits of shit and whatever on the negatives, and it, it just like, it just corrects it, it just gets rid of them, and it's really, it makes scanning easy. It's what happens in labs all over the world, really. Um, but scanning them positives, like I've done some negatives negatives before and they, they've been fine, but the scanning these positives, um, the, it seems to have trouble, but this, I suspect it's more to do with the state of these these um, slides than, than, than necessarily the, the fault of the scanner. 
Um, so I do have to resort to doing it in like in Photoshop afterwards if there's a photo that I particularly like. So yeah, that, to keep it as quick as I can, I'm just digitising them and um, if there's anything that needs cleaning up, I'll just do that when whenever I get a, a, a chance. I'm not going to do it for all of them, but um, like I say, I want to make a book, so if I do any books or prints, I'll probably spend a little, a little bit more time retouching those images. Um, and the rest, are fine. it's fine It's fine to just look at, so putting in blogs and on videos and sharing them, because I think I do still think they're interesting. Um, and I don't, I don't ever want to have like perfect prints, uh, not perfect prints. I don't ever want to have like perfect scan. Um, yeah, I don't want them. Don't want the scans to be perfect and the images to look like brand new. Um, it's just just any like bits of shit that sort of get get in the way of the photograph rather than um, rather than showing its age. I, I think is a, a, a good way. So um, if there's anything getting in the way of the details. I'll clean. I'll clean those up, uh, but generally, like things around the edges, well, around the edges specifically, um, I will leave that in because I think it looks pretty good. It's it's like it shows that the photos have been through <laughs> been through a lot, um, and it, and in some ways, it's probably as much a part of the photo now as as the actual original photo is. So, um, yeah. I like to do keep the retouching to a minimum. Just any any distractions, um, and then, but let, let, leave the leave the rest to just be part of it. It's fuck it. It's a it's a vibe and yeah. I've only got so much time. Anyway, um, I think I've covered everything for now. Bye.